I'm Keenum. In this episode, we're going to talk about tripling numbers. Let's triple. We got one, we're going to triple it. That means we multiply by three. Now we have three gems. Okay, let's triple three gems. Whoa, what's going on, dump truck? Hey, get out of here. Okay, let's try this again. Let's do two gems. If we triple it, that's gonna mean we multiply by three. So we go two, four, six. Six gems. We have tripled two to get six. Okay, let's try again. We have three gems. We want to triple it. That means we multiply by three. So we're going to do two more rows of three, and then we will have triple three. Three, six, nine. Tripling three. Get hey, what's going on here, dump truck? Moosh. 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 Okay, let's triple. Oh no, once some more. If we triple one, we get three. One, two, three. Hey, what's going on, Jims? Okay, let's triple four. We have four objects and we wanna multiply by three. We need to add two more rows. Hey, what's going on, dump truck? All right, let's try this again. We got four objects and we want to triple it so we're going to add two more rows wait dump truck get out of here wait dump truck we're going to add two more rows in wait so when we triple four we get four eight twelve triple four and you get twelve oh there's the dump truck here it comes Beep. <laughs> Moosh, moosh, oh, moosh, moosh. The flying banana. Hey, what's going on here? The flying banana. Oh no, the flying banana! Okay, we're gonna triple five. Here we go. We got five objects. Tripling means we're gonna add in two more rows. So we got five, 10, and 15. Five, 10, 15. When you triple five, you get 15. Here's another example of tripling. We've got 10, dots on the bottom row here and if we want to triple it we go 10 20 30 so in this frame we see we have 30 dots 10 on the first row 10 on the second row and 10 on the final row so that's how we get 30 The flying banana! Oh no, the flying banana! It's flying time! Flying banana.
It's time to triple! One couch, one queen mattress, and one single mattress. We have tripled the number of jumping surfaces. Normally we just have that couch, but right now we've tripled it. Let's take some of these Maple Landmark trains. Uh-oh, he's got a chip in his wheel. Let's take some of these Maple Landmark trains and we're going to triple some numbers. So if we have one and we want to triple it, boom, one, two, three, we have tripled one to get three. But what if we want to do two? Well, let's have two trains and let's triple that. And you triple your numbers. Two, four, six. Tripling two gives us six. But what if we want to triple three? What happens when we triple three? Hmm. We'll start with three and we'll triple it. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. We have tripled three. Two, two. Okay, let's triple four. We've got four trains. We're gonna triple it. We will get four, eight, 12. When we triple four, we are multiplying by three. So this becomes a four by three or 12. Now, let's triple five. Whoa, buddy. If we triple five, we need to add a few more trains. There we go. Five, 10, 15. This is a five by three. Five by three. So when we triple five, we get 15. Bonus time, we got six trains right here. Six. And we're gonna triple six. Boom. Six. Twelve. Eighteen. This is a six by three or eighteen. Thanks for joining us in this episode where we triple numbers like two to get six. So cool. We're going to do more multiplication, addition, subtraction, and other early childhood math concepts at this channel. So smash the big red subscribe button and you won't miss any of our content. You can head on over to the website for additional resources. As always, catch you on next week's episode. God bless. class when you want to triple it's really just taking an object and multiplying it by three you're adding oh two more copies here we go let's try it again you take one and you triple it see easy as that I am the
Oh, sorry, that's a bad thing.